Hello and welcome everyone. It is Wednesday, January 17th, 2018. Uh, Wednesday being New Comics Day. It's time for another New Comics video. <clears throat> I'm going to run through my new pickups. I will give you a pick of the week as usual. Talk about a couple books next week and then uh, got some different, I got some of my old Frank Frazetta books in the background there. I was looking through them the other day. I found, pulled them in my closet and amazingly some of those are actually worth a bit of money. So not why I bought them, but anyways, talk about those in a bit too. So uh, first off this week, I picked up a couple books. This one came out last week. Uh, I believe it was last week anyway, Supergirl 17. I love the cover on that. I meant to pick that up and I forgot to, got talking in my shop and forgot to grab it. So had one copy left, so I picked it up. Uh, I also grabbed a uh, second printing of the Doomsday Clock. I just like, it's a black and white cover. Kind of, I've got all the first prints obviously, but I like that black and white one. So grabbed that. Nothing special, but uh, picked that one up. Anyway, I'm going to start off with Marvel this week. Uh, Wolverine, all new Wolverine number 29 was out, so grab that. I've been reading that story for a while. Uh, Weapon X 13 was the next one I got. Um, I think there's a battle between Wolverine and Sabretooth in a couple issues. Might be next one, I'm not sure, but that looks pretty good. Picked up uh, Venom Inc. Omega. That's the conclusion of that Venom Inc. storyline. That's another, uh, it's a one shot to conclude that thing. I read it, it's uh, it's okay, it's not the greatest, but anyways, um, and I got the next issue in that uh, Avengers No Surrender storyline, 676, uh, there's one out a week, I think I said there was 12 issues in this, there's actually 16, so that's going to be running for a while, but one book a week, so that's a good one, that's the first full appearance now of Voyager, and it kind of runs through her backstory a little bit in there, gives you a bit of her orange, origin story, so... Pick that one up, I won't tell you what happens, but it's not too bad, considering. And next up, I got some DC books. Picked up, uh, I talked about uh, Green Lanterns 37 and 38, first appearance of Red Tide. And this is a conclusion of that storyline, so I, I grabbed that as well. Picked up Harley Quinn 35. There's a, uh, it's a new creative team with this, uh, with Harley Quinn now, so. Got the regular cover, and I got the Cho uh, variant cover. He sure has a distinct style of drawing her. I don't know if I like it as much, but it's not bad. It's kind of a cool looking cover, so. Anyways, got those two. Uh, new Batman was out this week, so of course had to grab those. Batman 39. Got the regular cover. And the variant cover. That's a really nice looking both those covers are pretty good, but I like that variant cover. It's a really nice looking cover. And DC, I mentioned before, they got all those new, a bunch of new stories, um, titles coming out. And this first one is uh, Damage. So Damage number one was out today. I grabbed a copy of that. Uh, like I say, I think it's kind of a DC's version of the Hulk. It's very similar type of thing, but uh, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Looks not too bad. So that's it for DC. Next up is my uh, image titles. Quite a few image titles this week. I've been. I like this Rumble series. This is the first one I got. I got the. I don't know. I'm not sure. Like I said, I just got back from my shop, so I'm not sure which one's regular and which one variant. But there's two covers for it, so grab both of those. Kind of nice. I like the artwork in that that uh, series, so it's pretty good. Dark Fang number three was out. I really like this one. That's a vampire storyline kind of thing. And the art is really, the covers have been awesome. And that last one, number two, was so good. That one's pretty nice too. New title came out this week. Uh, Further Adventures of Nick Wilson. And there's two covers for that. So I grab both of those. Haven't read it yet. We'll see how it goes. A lot of these, I mean, I've mentioned before, these image titles, some of them, they're kind of hit and miss. You can get some really good ones, uh, and then you can get some so-so ones, but uh, we'll see how that one goes. So two covers for that one. Uh, I picked up Days of Hate number one. That came out today as well. Um, <clears throat> it's 12 issues, so not sure if I'm going to stick with it, but uh, I'll take a read. And my pick of the week this week is uh, the Ice Cream Man. I got the regular... And the variant for that. It's kind of a it's a horror story kind of thing where there's an ice cream truck. I don't want to tell you what happens in the story, but he uh, 
wherever he goes. It's kind of each each issue will have its own independent horror story. So it's kind of an interesting um, story. I think I'm going to stick with that one. I just I like the idea of every week having a different story. So I'm going to uh, I like that one. That's my pick of the week, and it's that one's gone up for a bit already. You're, you're looking up quite a bit for those two. I like this. That's a cool looking cover. It's a sweet ass cover on that one. So. If you can pick those up try and get this uh, variant if you can too so all right next week that's it for this week uh, a few good books coming out next week doomsday clock next uh, number three is coming out that's uh, such a great uh, a great comic pick that one up for sure especially if you started on it because there's some every issue seems to be having some surprises come up in that one and I mentioned before uh, flash 39 is out next week that's the 700th issue of the flash so I'll try to pick that one up and uh, again there's another next week there will be another Avengers as well so that storyline will just keep going that's a couple books I'm looking at for next week uh, yeah anyways I just want to talk about these Frank Frazetta books I mean I love as a kid I've had these since I was a kid and Frank Frazetta was a huge uh, influence on a lot of people he was on me for sure I, I uh, drew a lot of his copied a lot of his artwork and stuff when I was growing up and surprisingly these books this is from 1977 this is a first print there's I can't remember how many prints of this are but if you got any of these books hang on to them because they're actually like these are worth a bit of money now I mean he passed away in 2010 <clears throat> and a lot of his artwork was uh, used on album covers and movie posters and um, ads for TV shows uh, as well as you know just a whole bunch of different things. He sold paintings and everything else, but his work is amazing. He did comic. He started out in comic books actually with EC Comics and a couple other companies. I can't remember exactly, but he was a super talented artist. <clears throat> and I'm sure a lot of you have have seen his artwork or very familiar with it. But uh, he's got some really classic, iconic. I mean, this one's the Destroyer, and uh, it's just an amazing detail in his paintings and he's all he's just he's got a certain look to it I mean he's a lot of his stuff is oil paintings but um, fantasy art and whatnot and it's just really cool and there's a if any of your Battlestar Galactica fans I didn't even realize this at the time but his uh, one of his he was commissioned by ABC to do the original uh, some paintings for the hang on, I just got to find it here and uh, actually, I think it's the other book there we are I didn't even realize it, but that is one of the first, uh, there's Apollo and Starbuck, and I don't know who the hell that is, but Cylons, obviously, and <clears throat> Black Cup there, but there is, I, I saw a picture, there's a, and so they would put these in, like, the newspapers and TV guys, and it would say Battle Cigar Galactica next, next episode and whatnot, but uh, that's one, and this is another one, this is actually from an episode where all the, uh, all the men were, I can't remember, they were sick or something, so the women took over and fought all the silence. That was a cool episode, nice looking, that's an awesome looking, it's an awesome art. I mean, his art was so good and so iconic, so. Anyways, if you're, <clears throat> if you're familiar with Frank Frazetta and you got some of these books, hang on to them. If you're not, uh, check it out, because he is, in my book, he's a huge influence on me and great stuff, so. Anyways. Just gonna close out with that. Like, say, if you got any of these books, or if you find any of these uh, in a in a bookstore, so I use bookstore, pick them up because if they are first prints, they're worth they're worth a bit of money. So, which I did not realize. Anyways, that's it for this week. I will talk to you next week, and uh, take care, everyone. And we'll see you later. Bye.